everyone, this is Dorothy from crazyforcrust.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is all about chocolate. I'm gonna show you how to make one of my absolute favorite recipes. It's a brownie pudding, so it's gooey and lava like a molten lava cake, but it's a brownie, and it's made in the slow cooker. Let's get started. Are we ready to start? Okay, so the, you know what the best thing about this recipe is it's made in the crock pot. It's one of my number one all-time recipes on my website, crazyforcrust.com, and I'm gonna show you how to make it today. You're gonna absolutely love it. It's perfect for a party, it's perfect for a potluck, or it's just perfect because you are dying for chocolate and for brownies. You only need a few basic ingredients for this recipe. You start with a brownie mix and a pudding mix. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start off by making your brownie mix. Now, brownie mixes, all of the different brands of brownie mix might have different ingredients. Just follow the directions on the back of the box. Add the eggs, water, and oil that are called for on the back of the box. Stir those up really good until they're all made, and you're just not gonna make them as brownies. You're gonna add them to your crock pot in a minute, so set that aside. And then you're gonna make your pudding. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pudding mix, and usually it's about two cups of milk. I use non-fat. You're just going to whisk those together until no lumps remain and then set that aside. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the brownie pudding into the slow cooker. You're going to spray the inside of your slow cooker with non-stick cooking spray. You um, add your brownie mix and then you're going to slowly pour the pudding mix over the top of the brownie mix. Now a note about the slow cookers. Not all slow cookers are created equal. Um, some of them cook more on one side than on the other. Some cook slower, some cook faster. It really depends on the brand and the age of your crock pot. So once you start baking in your crock pot, um, over time you'll kind of get to know it, the little idiosyncrasies about it and you can um, adjust your baking time and that sort of thing as you go. All right, when I bake in a slow cooker, I really like to cover the top of the slow cooker with a paper towel before I put the lid on. That way the condensation that forms in the lid will be caught on the paper towel and not end up on my cake or my brownie or whatever below. So go ahead and put the paper, the paper towel on it, put the cover on, and then you're gonna put it on high for about two to three hours. It really depends on your slow cooker. Um, my slow cooker has a four hour setting, but I just put it on and then I watch the clock for about between two and three hours. At two hours, I start to check it, see if the brownie's getting done. Usually it takes about two and a half hours and then it's all done. I have my crock pot here, it's all done cooking. Take the lid off, catch all that condensation on the paper towel. Oh, it looks and smells so amazing. It's like chocolate and lava and it's all melted together and it's all gooey gooey. All right, I'm gonna take my spoon, I'm gonna pour myself a big plate of this gooey brownie. It is amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, all of that pudding on top. Get some more of that pudding. Look at that, isn't that amazing? This is great for a party. It's great because you love chocolate. Oh, you guys, you have to taste this. It's crazy amazing. Have a great day. Happy baking.